heart failure. It's an epidemic that affects more than 5 million Americans. It occurs when the heart is unable to pump sufficient blood to supply the needs of the body's tissues. More than half of heart failure patients die from sudden cardiac arrest, a sudden, abrupt loss of heart function caused by rapid heart rhythm. And this can occur from various means. It could be a result of the muscle having been injured, as occurs with a heart attack, or the development of some intrinsic muscle dysfunction. It can occur when valves are abnormal or when arteries become clogged. Sudden cardiac death is one of the few circumstances in which you can actually be revived from what we call death. Because it's a primary electrical disorder, if we can correct that electrical accident, so to speak, immediately, we can resume the heart's function back to normal. In today's world, technology plays a huge part in finding effective treatments for such abnormalities. The use of implantable cardioverter defibrillators, or ICDs, are proven to be 98% effective in treating the dangerous fast ventricular arrhythmia that can lead to sudden cardiac arrest. Some special versions of these ICDs are also able to deliver cardiac resynchronization therapy to help reduce the daily symptoms associated with heart failure. And an implantable defibrillator is a device that we implant in patients that monitors every single heartbeat. So we implant it under the skin in the chest and a lead is placed from the device into the heart. And by parameters that we set, it can distinguish between the normal heart rate and abnormalities of the electrical system that can be dangerous. If it detects one of those abnormalities, it is able to immediately deliver some kind of treatment. That treatment might be pacing the heart to prevent it from being too slow. It may be rapidly pacing the heart to eliminate a rhythm disturbance, or it can even deliver an internal shock to immediately convert the heart back to normal. So the devices that we have now, they're also able to improve muscle function. And that aspect of defibrillators is called cardiac resynchronization therapy. With these devices, we can treat basic electrical disturbances, but we can also improve cardiac output and improve lifestyle, as well as improving survival. The number of heart failure patients is expected to double within the next five years. This growth has created a serious issue within the medical industry. The challenge is, is identifying that enormous population of patients and determining who's at risk before a problem occurs. We estimate that there are three to 400,000 patients in the United States who die of sudden cardiac death. The percentage of patients that we actually treat are patients who have significant muscle dysfunction that we can identify, people who've had big heart attacks, people who have congestive heart failure. The challenge is, is the bulk of sudden cardiac death comes from the rest of the population, from patients who really were never before identified to be at risk. And that accounts for probably 80 to 85% of the rest of sudden death. Founded in 1963 by Professor Max Schaldock, inventor of the first German pacemaker, Biotronic is the pioneer and leader in remote patient monitoring. Biotronic Home Monitoring uses an innovative cellular transmitter that automatically and continuously monitors the patient's implantable device. It alerts the physician with any clinically relevant events via secured internet access. Also, we're the only company that has uh, the capability to maintain that connectivity with, by using a GSM cell phone network. So the patient can be in constant contact no matter where uh, he is. And there was a great hope that by doing this, that we would be able to uh, determine or detect underlying disease conditions early enough, even if the patient didn't feel any symptoms, where the physician could intervene and improve the overall patient outcome. While quickly becoming the standard of care, Biotronic developed the technology in the late 1990s and was the first monitoring system of its kind available anywhere in the world. Now, if a patient has an event, the information would be transmitted in the same fashion, and we would get an alert back to us. We receive all our alerts on the internet. You can get them via fax. You can get them actually in a mobile platform if you want them as well. Both physicians and patients benefit from Biotronic's home monitoring system. It provides 24-7 disease and device safety monitoring. This unique monitoring technology allows patients peace of mind without restricting their lifestyle. Additionally, Remote patient monitoring can streamline clinic workflow in the healthcare sector, allowing physicians and nurses to afford greater attention on patients who are in urgent need without compromising overall patient care. So there's a lot of information you can get from the device that if you can interpret it and use it, you can actually save the patient 
hospitalization, you know, a shock potentially down the road, episodes of heart failure, uh, things that makes the patient's quality of life much better. Proven by a landmark clinical trial, Biotronic Home Monitoring is the only remote monitoring system that has received approval from the FDA to claim the clinical benefit and safety of this revolutionary technology. Not only is it easy to use, but its mobility provides patients with continuous monitoring from anywhere in the world.